Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2015 Jeep Patriot. Uh, this one has the uh, the uh, high altitude package, so it um, has some features on it that's pretty neat. One of the coolest things that kind of stand out. Now this one is granite in color. I don't know if you can tell. Sun's almost down right now, but it's a it's a granite colored vehicle, and it has like a kind of like a matching dark kind of a granite type wheel, I guess. It kind of looks like it's painted the same color as the rest of the, the vehicle. But that kind of interesting look to it. You see in here in the front, it kind of has a... Um, it doesn't have the projector headlights, but it has the round headlights here, the typical Jeep look with the uh, seven slot grill and the fog lights. That's, this one has a sunroof. Looks like basically the same body style. But one of the features it has is remote start. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up here on the key. All the doors have to be shut and locked. And the vehicle has to be completely secure. And then you just double tap the button there and it starts up. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And you can see it has the, the high altitude badge back here. With the mountain and looks pretty neat. It's got the luggage racks here on the top. Now from what I understand, there's some crossbars that you can get for that but right now it doesn't have the crossbars in order to uh, have the most optimal fuel efficiency for air resistance or whatever. Alright, here's the back. We've got a dome light back here and over there and you got a storage pocket there and in here is your tire on the window sticker it says it's a compact spare tire looks pretty good size but definitely handy now one thing to consider with new cars is you want to make sure that it does have a spare tire because a lot of them do not come with a standard so that's if you're in in the market for a new car just make sure that um, it comes with a spare tire. If it doesn't, at least you're aware that it is. You don't want to find out when you're on the side of the road with a flat tire that you don't have a spare tire. You kind of want to check into that while you're shopping. Alright, so there's the back. It still has a cap for the gas cap there. Now this one does have the privacy glass here in the back, so you kind of can't really see in there very good just in the back and the, the driver and passenger doors are clear now this is the factory tinted glass so it's not anything that's going to scrape off or anything like that now here's the inside of the back door you've got a big speaker little tiny pocket there pretty plain door now here's the leather seats um, they're black with some white stitching and you can see it has a pretty good amount of leg room you can, uh, as far as like maybe not necessarily knee room but where your knee your legs go straight down that area is pretty deep to where you kind of have a little bit of height when you're sitting in the back seat now these seats do fold down in case you need some more storage space like so cargo space and that way you have this flat surface all the way back here and um, they do sell like a rubberized cargo mat to go back there as well. Just point out it does have the cup holders here. And you got your dome light handles up here. But that's about it for the back seat. We do have heated side mirrors. And they will manually fold in or turn that way. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got your power windows there, power door locks, side mirror controls, big speaker, pretty decent sized pocket there. 
Now you do have the power seat as far as going forward and back switch there, but it, the tilt, the back of the seat is tilted manually. Alright, so I'm in, here's a steering wheel and um, pretty good amount of room back here. It's showing the tailgate's open, but let's try to continue with about that. The lights are going to stay on. Anyways, um, <laughs> here's the steering wheel, and it is a leather wrapped steering wheel that has a pretty good thickness. Since I use your remote start, I do have to put the key in and turn it on for everything to turn on. So, it is a very comfortable steering wheel. The vehicle for a small SUV has a pretty good amount of room. It is pretty comfortable and um, it drives easy. But right here on the right, you've got your cruise control settings. On the back of the steering wheel, you have a volume control. On the back of the left, you have a where you can tune through the stations. On the front here, a step and reset. That corresponds to this right here. I'm pushing it now. So it had, the vehicle has 12 miles on it. I'm going to push step again. There's a trip A. There's a trip B. And there's 71 degrees outside. And it goes back to the mileage. So basically you can kind of scroll through that little menu system and then you can go to the hit reset on the on the trips then you see, see the temperature. The gauges are pretty simple, easy to read, uh, nothing too fancy though, just basic information. Same thing with your your headlights and your window windshield wipers, stuff like that. It's all pretty basic. This is a basic style Jeep I guess you can say the high altitude is basically like a it does have heated seats but as far as you know it's mo mostly cosmetic here is the radio now it does have a single disc CD player it does play mp3s and um, has auxiliary input now a lot of these radios will have this phone on it so let's push that you connect phone ready so basically that's once you pair your phone then um, you can access that there but some of them what I wanted to point out is that some of them have the phone button here and not on the steering wheel and when that is happens or sometimes that doesn't have Bluetooth this one just happens to have Bluetooth so um, you know keep that in mind if you're looking at vehicles and you don't see it on the steering wheel a lot of times it doesn't have Bluetooth, but it will have it here, even though it doesn't have it. So, something to keep in mind. So, moving on, you do have voice recognition. You got the Bluetooth. Pair, once you pair your phone, you can make and receive calls using that button. This one does have satellite radio, and the new vehicles have a full year of free service on that. And your auxiliary input, like I mentioned, that's really handy for like a, a iPod or a phone. And, um, and speaking of phone, you can actually play music through the Bluetooth system using your phone. Climate control is pretty basic, you know, airspeed, temperature, and where you want the air to blow. And down here is your heated seat buttons and your stability traction control button if you want to turn that off. You can do so. And right here is a power supply. And this is an interesting pocket. I'm assuming that it's for a pen because a pen fits right in there. And I can't really think of anything else that would really fit in that little pocket. So I guess it's just a pen holder. And there's your shifter. Now, when you put it in drive, you can it has like an auto stick feature. So you can change gears by bumping it right or left. Now, I'm going to put it back in drive by holding it to the right. Right here, you can has a little indicator that pops up when you start moving the shifter. So in order to get back in drive, you just hold it to the right, goes back in drive. There's your cup holders. There's a little slight illumination in here. Um, you can see when it's dark. There's a little pocket there, and you got a pocket there, you got a pocket there. There's your uh, emergency brake, parking brake. This is an armrest. This lifts up. You got a little pocket here. 
this whole thing lifts up and you have a deeper pocket I don't know if you can really see in there it's kind of dark but you also have a AC adapter right here you got your glow compartments there's one up here that's open for easy access and there's another one there for putting stuff in rear view mirror is a auto dim rear view mirror and as far as your sunroof which it does have you've got a shade so you can block it but also you can push the vent button here between those lights you can hit the vent button you can also open it up as far as you want or as little as you want and to close it you just hit it one time it automatically just close and go into place the visors have mirrors but I don't see any lights this one has no light either all right so let's look underneath the hood one quick look back here first just so you can see what it looks like really sharp looking leather seats and they're very comfortable soft leather seats but let's open up the hood hood latches right here so open it up like that nice heavy hood really heavy hood for a little car little SUV but right here's the engine it's a 2.0 liter and uh, this does have the CVT transmission and everything in yellow is kind of what you would typically check on your own just kind of check the fluids check the, uh, the oil there there's the prop for the hood which you're gonna need it because it feels heavy and the windshield washer fluid coolant the brake fluid stuff like that Alright, if you have any questions, uh, my name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description and you can leave comments if you want in the comment section. And if I, if I missed anything, please let me know. Um, if I said something wrong, please correct me. Um, there's, there's lots of things on this vehicle that I could overlook, so if you could just let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.